Hey guys, uh, today I'm gonna do a video and, and talk a little bit about something that it's not, not good to talk about in that sage grass. We've got some spots on the pasture that's got sage grass and we've done soil samples we've done soil samples on the whole place and for the most part the ph is is really good i'm going to show you some specific areas in one area where it's not good but uh it, it, it's got quite a bit of sage grass now down under it it's got some fescue and i know a lot of people's going to say well you should uh clip that let the let the grass you know come back well i'm not wanting to just clip this sage grass i'm wanting to annihilate it from the farm i'm wanting rid of the sage grass it's you know the sage grass is in my way so we're we're going to try several different things we're just going to throw a bunch of different tactics at it and just see what what works i mean obviously in an economical matter because you know obviously you could come out here and you could disc all this up and re-sow it sage grass would be gone well that's not really feasible for for us or most people so we're going to try some test areas in which we've pulled the soil samples from and do some different tactics and just see if, if any of that works what we have found works uh the best the fastest to send the quickest and most results is right there feeding hay on sage grass if you feed hay where you've got sage grass it will be gone i really don't really understand it what for sure what takes place all i can tell you is is it will make the most difference the fastest uh so we just try to pick new areas i mean this area where we fed hay this winter it will have very little, if any, sage grass on it this fall. We've got some more areas, but right here in this sage grass, I mean, the first thing people's gonna say is, is well, the pH is low. Well, the soil sample said the pH right here was 6.8, which is not low. I'm gonna show you another spot here in a minute where it's got sage grass this bad or worse, and it says it's a seven. So it doesn't always mean low pH. Another thing I've seen on the internet is, uh, well, it's, it's low in phosphorus. Well, actually, this whole place here, the whole farm, on every soil sample, no matter what location, says it's very high phosphorus. So that's not it. Um, there's tons of stuff on the internet where it just seems like most people are scratching their head on sage grass. I mean, there's several uh, things you can find where universities have done studies, and they really haven't they, they can tell you some things to do but even their plans even where the universities have done studies on it they say it's a three to five year process to get rid of sage grass and that's 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 a pretty good bit of time we're gonna try some things and i'm gonna come back and video that video the results and just see what if any of it worked you know we, we've got about a half a dozen things that, that we're gonna try and just see uh, if anything works as good or, or if, if our only option is just keep feeding hay where where we've got this sage grass that will work there's no question feeding feeding hay good quality hay on sage grass will annihilate it but is there something we can do to areas of which we're not feeding let's go over here i'm going to show you another spot that that's a seven ph and then i've got one more spot i'm going to show you where it did show that it was it was low it was about a five so i'm going to show you those too so let's go look at those a while ago when i first was talking i was just across that fence that cross fence on the other side there's some hay bales and you see where the cows still are across there but there's a strip right here like i said the, the ph over there on the corner of the soil sample was 6.8 there's a strip down through here with this sage grass and there's it's not right here where we're standing but as you as you go on further it just it, it gets it gets more sage grass and more sage grass but to the right up on the hill there's hardly any it's just like a line right here and the soil samples according to where there's not any sage grass and where there is sage grass there's virtually no difference in the soil samples so that's kind of confusing but what i what i done was i tried to pick some areas out and just uh do soil samples as 
well spread at first as I possibly could and try to cover accurately get a representation of the entire farm and then once we done that got those results we went back and I pulled four more samples of places uh, that had the, the worst sage grass one right across that hill and then one on this far hill right here and then one at another place we're gonna show you too. But this this actually had a seven, a seven pH right here. Just trying to describe it, I would say it's an eighth of a mile long by 150, 200 feet wide. Just 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 a strip. And the rest of it has doesn't have hardly any sage grass on it. We also know that sage grass will grow in bare spots. It'll grow where there, there's less competition of grass. And we're gonna try to improve the good grass competition. We're gonna we're gonna tr let the good grass take over where the the sage grass is and see if that'll work. But we, this little area, like I said, we pulled two soil samples off this. It was a 4.8 and a 5. This is probably about a I'd say like a little three acre cove that goes up in some woods. It's out of the main pasture, and it's got. Uh, sage grass on it not not really any worse maybe a tiny bit worse but not not significantly worse than the other area you can see uh, back towards the barn there you can see just a little just like just like on the other side I showed you it's just like a little line of where it appears that the sage grass is it almost looks like we've we've cut it you know we bush hog it or clipped it out there because there's none and then there's significant sage grass but but the soil samples like i said it doesn't show any difference in where there's not any sage grass compared to where there is now if someone out there has already found the answer to all these questions please email me or let me know and, and save me a lot of work but uh, I would love to know if anybody's had any trials like this where they've had high phosphorus levels, high pH levels, and still had significant sage grass. If you've already been through that and you already know what to do, please let us know. And if not, we'll uh, do our test and, and report back to you and, and see. Uh, we've actually uh, burnt this area back in the deep winter just to see what, what that would do. That's, that's one of the things we're going to try. But we've got some more stuff as well, and uh, we're going to go over that in a different video. So, right here's where we fed some hay this year on a sage grass spot, and you can already tell that the green grass is coming up. Now, you won't be able to see till this fall that the sage grass isn't going to come up, but it's not going to. I mean, you can already tell, even where the even where the hay wouldn't, down in this area, down in here, look at... Look. The, the, the grass quality, it's darker green, it's, it's coming up lush and all that. It's just better around where you feed this hay. It's going gonna, it's gonna to make a huge difference right here in this sage grass. How fresh is this stuff? Could be any fresher or we still be grazing? No!